Welcome back to the vlog. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. So another month and another video. So this is my July makes video. So it was actually quite productive during July. I got about seven things made, I think. And um, one I can't share with you because it's a pattern test, but I'll come to that in the coming months when it gets released. But a couple of the makes were more simple things so they didn't take much time at all to make up. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is what I'm wearing. And if you haven't seen this pattern already, it is an absolute gem and I recommend you go and have a look at it. So it is the Rosalie dress by Experimental Space Patterns. Now I've made a few of their things already and I really love them. I love the unusual details that Andrea puts into the patterns. So for example with the maxi dress, it's the back of the pattern that is the absolute selling feature. So I've been wearing this dress in the shop and people haven't commented and then they've seen the back of it and said, oh wow, that's lovely. So it's all about the back. Although it also has glorious pockets. So I will put in pictures so you can see it full length, so obviously it's a maxi. But yeah, really lovely big deep pockets. And then if you can see this lovely back detail. Uh, so really nice deep scooped neck at the back and then the cutout which is just so pretty. So I made mine in a cotton lawn, so you can make it in rayon, in linen, in cotton, or you could make it in a fancier evening type fabric for more of a nighttime ball gown kind of thing. So lots of different options. We've still got some of this bird print, it's the Kinza cotton lawn. It's like a lovely khaki color with these birds all over it. Still got a little bit of this left if you are interested, so I'll link it all below anyway. But yeah, really, really happy with it. It's been lovely and cool to wear on the hot sunny days that we've been having. So yeah, super happy with this one. And I definitely, definitely recommend you go and check out the pattern. As I said, it's actually quite hard to find good maxi dress patterns. So in the past, I've just tended to lengthen a pattern that I found that I liked just to make it the length that I want. So yeah, good to have a new maxi on the market. And my second make to share with you is a good old Agnes top. You know how much I love these. And I was definitely feeling a lack of short sleeved ones in my wardrobe. So I just made up a few this month. So this one is from our Lemon Made fabric. So it's these gorgeous lemons with little fish tails on them. And yeah, just a really easy to wear fun top that goes really nice with the jeans. So that's got a lot of wear this month. And then I ran an iron-on vinyl workshop this week. So I wanted to have just a little sample t-shirt made up that I could just demonstrate the process on. So I used some of our lovely plain lilac t-shirt fabric and I love this colour. So just another plain Agnes tee. And actually with both of these, I've cut the sleeves much shorter. I think the original sleeves, you've either got the wrist length or you've got elbow length, but I've done them to kind of mid. So this is the t-shirt here and I've personalized it here with a quote from my current favorite musical. So this is from Waitress. And if you haven't seen it or haven't heard the soundtrack, go and have a look now because it is so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with the soundtrack. I listen to it all the time and I saw it in London a couple of months ago and absolutely loved it. So yes, I've made my own waitress tea. And then on Instagram, there's been a few of you sharing our toe beans fabric and making adorable pajamas out of it. And I didn't feel like I wanted to be left out. So I made my own for the summer. Uh, sorry, these are just out of the wash. They might be a little bit crinkled. So here it is. If you can see, it's got these lovely puffy paw prints on it. And I've matched it with the coral orange jersey, which actually is a really good match. I thought it would be more pink, but it is more of a corally orange. So I've done the neck binding in that. 
So again, good old Agnes t-shirt for the top pattern. And then for the pyjama shorts, I couldn't find a good jersey shorts pattern. So I decided to go with the True Bias Hudson pants, which I've made a few pairs of, really, really love them. So I just thought if I go with that and just cut them off, at one point I was thinking about kind of scalloping them up on the sides, but I didn't end up going with that in the end, just for ease. So again, I've done the contrast trim in the coral. Uh, including the little pockets and then I cut just a strip of the jersey and sewed it up turned it through with the loop turner just so I could have the ties and actually that worked out really really well so definitely recommend doing that if you can't find a kind of tie fabric that you like so you've got the nice wide elastic in them and yeah really lovely and comfy and super cute so I'll, I'll pop in a picture of Jasmine and I with our little matching outfits so you can see those. And then I'll just bring up my friend here. Um, she's been sitting in the window, but this is a Dominique skirt by Telina Buttons that I've made. So this has been just a sample skirt on display in our window, but yeah, really, really love this skirt, actually. Um, I did technically make this last month. I completely forgot to put it in last month's video, though. But anyway, it's here for you to see now. So what I did to change the pattern up, because literally, what is a skirt without pockets? I just added pockets into it, just side seam pockets. Really easy to do, just add them a little way down for the waistband, and it's all good. And yeah, just got this teamed with another Agnes. I know I'm obsessed, what can I say? But yeah, really, really pretty, and this fabric's still available. We've got it in the black and also in a turquoise. But yeah, everyone comments on the beautiful coise in the window. I'll just pop her here. See, so yeah, I've got lots done this month. I'm currently working on my Coco Wawa raspberry jumpsuit. So that's the one with all the shearing on the bodice, so I'm just in the shearing phase at the moment. And that's going well. And I know I said I wanted to get another couple of the Sorocco jumpsuits made. Haven't got round to it yet, but you know, maybe this month. I kind of just ended up changing changing plans last month. So it's a good thing I didn't do a sewing plans video. <laughs> but yeah, all was going well in the shop. We had a really good weekend just gone. We had Elisa Lex from By Hand London. She came down to do her famous bodice fitting masterclass and it was absolutely brilliant. All the girls who attended absolutely loved it and literally minds blown everywhere. Elisa Lex is so knowledgeable and it was amazing just kind of being able to listen out um, to bits here and there as it was going on. But yeah, we will be running that again so we're just talking dates now and I will have them all up on the website once we have them confirmed. And the other thing to say is if you are in the UK and local to the Bristol area, we are having a summer party. So it's on Saturday the 17th of August and it has a jungle theme. So it's gonna be running all day until about eight o'clock at night. And please come on down and join us if you can. It's a free party, there's no, there's no cost to attend. You can find all the details on the website. I'll, again, I'll link it below. And yeah, just come and join us. It's gonna be a really lovely day. It's gonna be raffles and various discounts and prizes on the day. So yeah, head on down and join us if you are free. Anyway, I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.